Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Beginner's Crochet series. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get your chain stitch started. A chain stitch is used in basically all the uh, crocheting blankets and dishcloths and stuff like that that you're going to need. You're going to need to start with that chain stitch. So what I'm going to show you here is how to start with your slip knot on your hook. The way I like to put my hold my yarn, I wrap it around my pinky once and then I go up the back, uh, front of the other two fingers and then back behind my in, my pointer finger and that's how I hold it and then my right here the knot of my slip knot I'm gonna hold between my middle finger and my thumb and I kinda hold that in place while I'm working so for the chain stitch to start out you're gonna go ahead and have your hook now let's get the hook I like to have the hook facing me and then you're gonna push down wrap the yarn around that hook then you're going to turn your hook facing down. That's going to make it easier to pull through the loop at the end. That's a chain one. So again, you're going to have that hook facing you. You're going to push down, wrap the yarn around, and that's called a yarn over. You'll hear that word in crochet videos. And then you're going to pull through the loop. Again, you're going to have the hook facing you, pull down, pull through the loop. Crochet hook facing you, yarn over, pull through the hook, loop, yarn over, through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, again, yarn over, pull through the loop, and you're going to keep going, and you want to try to get your, your chains and your stitches as even as possible. To practice getting the stitches even for some people, um, you can do like I had my daughter and my niece do when they were learning to crochet. Um, I had them make garland. It was around Christmas time, so they made garland for our Christmas tree. So that taught them how to get some nice even chain stitches. Again, you're going to put your hook facing you, push down, yarn over, put your, put your hook down, pull through the loop. Now I have seen some people, they hold this hand still and they use this hand to wrap it around. To yarn over, they use this finger instead and pull through. And they go through. I would say I probably do both in a way because I move this hook around, but at the same time I move both my hands at the same time. I kind of bring my hands together as I push my hook this way, and when I come back I have yarn, a yarn over. Like I said, everybody kind of crochets a little different. You, you figure out what's comfortable for you. When you're doing a blanket and you need 175 chain stitches, you find a rhythm, you find what's comfortable so that you can get it done. If you do happen to lose count, which does happen while you're going along, if you happen to lose count of your stitches, then you can go along and as you can see here, you have what's we call them V's in our crocheting right here you see the V right here that's a stitch that's chain one then you've got the V right here two three I'm gonna go ahead and count so right here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I'm going to do 25. So there's my 25 starter chain stitches. If you're doing a large blanket and this chain of simple 25 would be good for, say, if we're doing a dishcloth or a little bit smaller if we're going to do a coaster. If you're doing a blanket and it calls for 100, 200, sometimes 300 sti chain stitches to start it with, it's very easy to lose count. So something that you can do is, I've used different various um, stitch markers. What you can do is, this is number 25 right here. So with my 25th stitch, what you can do, I can't find any of my smaller paper clips, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this bigger one that I did find. You go ahead and stick it in there. Now I know that's 25 stitches. So when I've got, 200 stitches to do, I know I'm going to need eight of these. Another way that I've done it, if I'm watching TV and I'm focusing on something else or my daughter's home and I can't really 
focus because she's asking questions or I need to stop and do something. That's where these stitch markers really come in handy when you're doing your starting chain. Because you can say, okay, I know I've done 25, or that can be a stopping point. Okay, I got 25, I'm going to put it down, I need to go make dinner, I'm going to come back and pick it up. Of course, you do more than 25 before you stop, but just as an example. So if you have any questions about the chain stitch, go ahead and leave those in the comments, and I'll be happy to get back with you and get your comments answered. If you go in the description, it'll show you a link to the blog post that goes along with this video if you if you haven't seen it already and give you a little more description and it'll I'll let you know where I got my hooks and my supplies from have a good day